Magma flow has resumed. This is the sourcing volcanic system we are talking about. There has been no earthquake for a while now. This is worrying for me because that means the crushing of the rocks together, resisting movement, and then releasing the you know stock points that the rocks are stuck together, releasing from that point, which creates the tremors that our seismographs picks up, and. Uh, as you can see, these are caused by the movements of the rocks rubbing against each other or hitting each other, creating these earthquakes. This is boring. And now we have the evidence that magma is resumed uh, flowing into the chamber more than what is actually moving out of it. So it's just starting again to swell up. You can see this is a Swartzengi volcanic system. The Swartzengi uh, GPS data you can see is rising again slightly at the end of the tip. And here is the Eldvorp. We can see again is more pronounced. It's actually rising more. This is the moment that the magma entry is more than what is exiting it horizontally to anywhere to melt down the rocks horizontally in this, into the seal and then the dike. So magma is now resumed to come back. When we say magma is coming, it's not that there is a tunnel there. This is the people who translate by the Google, they come with this. And uh, this is completely wrong. The magma doesn't move in a tunnel in that sense, unless it is, for example, very near the surface. At the depth, we cannot have those kind of things. We have just the pores of the rocks being filled and gradually like a sponge absorbing the uh, magma, melting it and uh, melting the, you know, uh, bedrock and uh, in, uh, practically incorporating it into, into magma. In a way, you can say it's polluting it. It's changing the slightly the composition from the previous solid uh, rock to the new a magma coming fresh from the mantle of the earth and then gradually building up gradually becoming more you know fluid and the whole area gets gradually melted it can flow in that sense it doesn't empty it it flows like a vein between the face of the fault lines these are the uh, rift valley we are talking about the fault lines uh, consequently are uh, one after another exist uh, and the magma rises through them when, when it is also past the threshold and magma flows horizontally through a seal, near horizontal we are talking about, and comes to the uh, dike area where the Sundoka craters are, the weakest points in that uh, area, and rises off and erupts.